Baseball's opening day, it's still weeks away, but fans may want to start hunting for tickets now. Here to tell us why is Quentin Fatrell of Market Watch. Quentin, thanks so much for being My here. My pleasure. So now we've seen baseball tickets, they've risen in price in recent years. Um, any expectation for, for what we might see this year? All right, so funnily enough, uh, prices have remained steady this year after many years of uh, price increases. Um, but it obviously depends, it varies from team to team, like the New York Mets, for example, prices um, will rise between 2 and 78%, believe it or not, depending on the game. If it's a really big game, people want to go see, and they're, have, and they're having a really good winning streak, um, the prices will go up. But generally this year overall, they've been flat. And now part of what we've been hearing about is the buzzword dynamic pricing. Can you tell us what this is and why that might matter and when you want to buy your tickets? Right. So dynamic pricing is sort of similar to um, how airlines price their tickets. So, so constantly changing. Right. So they're constantly changing. But in the case of, uh, of sports, uh, it changes in terms of if the weather is particularly bad, people aren't going to go to uh, the, the game. Uh, so prices will go down, or if the team is doing particularly poorly, they'll go down, or the reverse is true as well. So you can if, get burned if, you, if the team is doing well and the prices skyrocket. Right, exactly, exactly. So that would be why to, why to buy early, but what if I don't particularly want to buy early and I want to wait? Are there still deals that I might get at the last minute? There are, yeah. I mean, there are, um, well, overall prices do tend to increase for tickets throughout the season. But there are a lot of deal sites out there, like Groupon announced a partnership with the uh, Major League Baseball in November to offer discounted tickets. Travel uh, Zoo recently offered Mets tickets for as little as $12. Um, and there are other sites out there, like crowdseats.com. Um, so these, these uh, deals typically come about two weeks before the game. And the, but the discount can range between anything from 30% to 60%. Pretty excellent. And then, if we're looking at that resale market, I know that's something that we've seen in previous right. years. It's uh, you know you can see tickets if it's a hot game, maybe twice the face value. But are there bargains there too to be had? Right. So I mean, I think you know with the with the uh, ticket sites, there are on the resale market, people generally want to make a profit on tickets they've had before, and there tend to be less uh, less bargains there overall. But there are sites like Fansnap.com and SeatGeek, and you can keep track. Uh, I mean, the, the biggest piece of advice is to keep track of your team to know how it's doing and to think, well, is it better to buy earlier at a cheaper price or, you know, really it's a, the, the risks are a lot higher if you're going to buy in the secondary market. Okay, well, we'll pay attention to that and hope we can get some good deals on a good game this year. Thank you so much My for pleasure. joining us.